what is up guys so today we're talking about if the k20 a3 is worth modding or investing money into it this is the slowest k20 that was put into a honda so a lot of people think these are uh, just really shitty motors uh, that you can't much get much power out of um, but i'm here to prove that wrong um, i think you can get a lot of power or a decent amount of power out of them um, and they are by far one of the most reliable K20s out there. So the naturally aspirated route, uh, you can go a Honda reflash with a cold air intake or just intake in general that would boost you up to around 160 um, horsepower to the wheels, uh, which isn't terrible. Um, this is with no exhaust, no headers, no nothing. If you have uh, long tube headers, the rev uh, limit goes up to 7,700, and I think you get a few more horsepower. Um, I'm not certain on that. Um, your next route for the naturally aspirated would be a uh, head swap from a K20A2. Uh, this will boost your horsepower potentially up to over, up to and over 200 horsepower uh, with a few uh, mods such as. Uh, a new oil pump, uh, throttle body, um, etc. Uh, and this will get you up to around 300 or 200 horsepower from the stock bottom end. Uh, and then uh, you can replace cams and stuff, but the best way to get power if you want to stay naturally aspirated would be swapping the engine with the K20 A2 or just swapping the head with the K20 A2 head. Um, and those are two uh, known ways that you can get power, naturally aspirated way. <clears throat> and then there's the boosting way. Uh, boosting path, you can either do supercharger or you can do turbocharger. I personally wrote it in a, a K20 A2 turboed uh, EP3. It had a built uh, head with cams, uh, etc., fuel injectors, um, and a stock bottom end, and that was making on 10 PSI 200, 290 horsepower. Uh, and it could go on up to 390 horsepower. Um, so there's a nice range right there. Uh, and it was pretty reliable, which is nice. Uh, and then you can go the supercharger route for the K20 A3, um, but I wouldn't recommend it if you have high miles. Uh, they say don't supercharge high mile cars. And with a supercharger, you can get the same amount of power, 300 to three, uh, 400 uh, with uh, a built top end. Um, so really the best way to get power, real power out of this car is rebuild the head or the top end of the car. Um, and the block, it, the bottom end pistons are fairly reliable. Um, these cars go easily, uh, 250,000 plus if you keep everything in stock. Um, but obviously that will deteriorate the more power you put into it. But I've heard that these cars do take power pretty well. Um, even stock, stock wise, these cars are not bad. I have race header, I have long tube headers, cap back, um, and that's it really. And this car does not feel like a 7.5 to 60 second car. It feels much faster. Um, so I'm not sure, uh, where that number comes from or if um, those few mods have actually boosted the horsepower enough that it feels way faster than it says it is. Um, but yeah, in general, the K20 A3 isn't that bad of a motor to have. Um, I feel like it gets more hate than it deserves uh, just because people just, it's not a K20 A2, so why would you go with it? But honestly, you could pick one up for 500 to a thousand bucks with low miles on it and it's honestly a great it's a great substitute uh, if you don't have the budget for a k20 a2 which sits around 2500 to three grand uh, on a, a used market so if you just put some money into a k20 a3 they say not to but you can put some money into it and it can be a kind of a fast fun little car uh, obviously it won't be a fully built or a completely stock k20 a2 um, but it will still uh, be fun to drive, which is the whole point. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, K20 A3 comes with the insane reliability. I mean, all K series engines are insanely reliable, but the K20 A3 specifically is extremely bulletproof um, and it will last a long time. The only issue I know of is cam lobe wear on the exhaust. Uh, I think it was due to the oil uh, 
that the factory recommended putting this car, the uh, 5W20, you should really be putting 5W30 in this car. Um, but overall, very reliable engine, and you can easily get power out of it uh, if you know what you're doing. Um, so I think it's a great alternative if you don't have the money for a K20 A2 or another motor. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time in the next video. Peace out.